This has to be the zombie one. <laughs> it's like I ate a stink bug. Hey guys, what's up? It's Julia from Julia Tries Everything. And today, if you can't tell, we are trying all of the Halloween candy that I could find. I thought I was only gonna have maybe like 10 to try. I didn't expect to find like 30. We're trying everything. We're trying the sour candies, oh, oh. the sweet candies, the chocolatey candies, the a little bit weird candies that um, I've, I've never seen before. I might throw in some wine, I don't know. Yes, I have had four cups of concentrated cold brew and I did not put water in them, so it's just straight up cold brew keeping me alive in my veins pumping. Okay, let's do it. Happy Halloween. Be spooky. Hello. Ooh, neck crack. Feeling good. Up first, we have the candy corn. I have never been a huge candy corn person. To be fair, I haven't eaten these in four years, maybe longer. They're basically just made out of sugar, corn syrup, confectioner's glaze, shellac, salt, dextrose, gelatin, sesame oil, honey. So these are basically just sugar. I mean, all candies are, right? Okay, here we go. Yep. Tess says that these are her favorites, or one of her favorites. I don't hate it as much as I remember hating it. I think candy corn gets a really bad rep. There's like eating sweet corn that's been dipped in a tub of sugar. Oh no. Uh -uh. Next we have the Frost Pumpkins. I always remember seeing these at the grocery store and thinking that they were like decorations for some gingerbread houses, maybe like haunted houses. I didn't know that anyone actually ate these. Nothing about this screams edible to me. It's mellow cream pumpkins. I don't know what mellow cream is. Is mellow cream a thing? One moment. Mellow cream is, mellow cream just says candy pumpkin when you Google it. A candy pumpkin is a small pumpkin shaped mellow cream confection. Okay, this is, what is the difference between mellow cream pumpkins and candy corn? Yeah, they both have the same ingredients, which I just saw. Oh, but Mellow Cream is a trademark term owned by the company that owns Brock's. But it just refers to all mobile candies made using this formula, candy corn included. Okay, so it, Mellow Cream is something about the molding process? Got it. Here we go. So it's just wax all the way down. So when you're biting it, it's almost like biting in slow motion. I can't, I'm trying to say something nice about them and the only nice thing I can say about them is that they're really cute and that they don't even feel edible. Like when you hold them in your hand, they sound like dice. Can you get that sound effect on there? Oh, you know what? It is time for a bit of though. Did you know that Brock's makes 95% of all the candy corn that you'll eat each year for Halloween. Up next, we're gonna do something that I think that I will love the most. We're gonna do the gummy bears. Haribo, Haribo, Haribo. Let me make sure I say that right. Haribo. Okay, it's an acronym for Hans Regal Bond Haribo. Cool, they have a bunch of flavors in here. We have five flavors. We have orange, lemon, strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple. What always confuses people is that the strawberry is green. It has that good chewiness to it. I don't like orange, I know that. I'm gonna eat the pineapple next. To me, pineapple, gold standard for gummy bears. Amazing, can't be beat. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. Lemon. A lot of lemon candies Tastes like pine salt or like floor cleaner of some sort. I'm not getting that with this lemon. I'm not mad about it. Orange. Orange is kind of just like melting into the background. And then last but not least, raspberry, which there's more raspberry than any other color in here. Which leads me to believe that everyone else must love this flavor. 
Definitely pineapple number one, then strawberry, then lemon, then raspberry, then orange. Up next, we have good and plenty. I have never had good and plenty ever in my life. I've truly never seen anyone just sitting there eating a fistful of good and plenty. But maybe these are amazing. Who knows? Looks like I'm about to take a medication. Okay. Purple. Oh, 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 I don't know if I could say they're good. I would say there's like subpar and plenty. We're moving on. Up next, we have lifesavers. I think the lifesavers are in the same rule as gummy bears, where the clear one, the pineapple one, tastes the best. And then the green one, actually, though, for lifesavers, I'm not sure it's actually strawberry. No. Ooh. The green apple. Mmm. Nope, lime. That was bad. It's lime. It's not tart at all. Very sugary lime. There are clear ones like a pina colada, right? I like it. It's funky. It's tropical. I feel like I need to like cleanse my palate. Okay. What are we on? What's the last candy? Oh my god. It is a spooky lip pops, lollipops, blue raspberry. Um, everything about the packaging looks like you should not eat it, and it looks like it would be toxic for your body. It looks like a really gory, scary pinky. I don't even know how you're supposed to eat this. Oh god, I see what's gonna happen here. Okay. I love blue raspberry flavored things. I've said in a previous video, blue raspberry is actually not a real flavor. This can be a sad fact, not a fun fact. Blue raspberry is a concocted flavor from a factory. I believe it's actually a factory in New Jersey. I'll check on that. I love everything blue raspberry flavored. I think it's great. This is not blue raspberry. This is cotton candy, I'm pretty sure. It's like cotton candy blue raspberry with a... Nope. Mm -mm. This is just dinky. That's a no. That's getting a 1 out of 10. From this round, I believe the winner is going to be the gummy bears. Gummy bears are great for Halloween because you get so many of them in one of those little packages. Almost every single flavor you're going to love. And also, they're just, they're so good. The rest of these candies can't hold up. Okay, let's go to the next round. I'm really excited about this round because these candies truly are only out once a year. And I haven't had some of these because they weren't around when I was trick or treating. Let's start with the Cat Witch's Brew. Crisp wafers and marshmallow flavored cream, naturally and artificially flavored. Instead of being coated in chocolate, it is just a white chocolate, it's like a marshmallowy white chocolate green coloring. First of all, I love the packaging. Very cute, very Halloween y. I'd be very excited about this. This mint green color is gorgeous. Points to them for creating a very, very cute green, but not a scary, creepy green. Do you guys remember, like, um, what was it, the ketchup that was colored green for Shrek? That was like a scary green. This is a pretty green that's very approachable. Ooh, it smells extremely marshmallowy. Yeah. It also smells like a sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. I can get behind this one. Not a white chocolate fan. I'm a marshmallow fan. Very fun and very festive. Up next, we have the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Fangs. So I guess I need to like hold it up like this. Is this right? No? Okay. Maybe I need to give these enough credit. Good. I like that there is that good crunch in there with the cookie bits. You can actually hear the crunch when you bite down into it. And it's also weird because I'm used to kind of, I like to have the chocolate just sit in my mouth until it melts. Chewing on chocolate's a little strange to me, but I'm okay with it like this. 
Also, the cream tastes like cereal milk. So, what next we have is the Reese's Framing Cup. Milk chocolate with green colored cream. The picture on here looks like it's supposed to be this really like cute and pretty lime green color, kind of similar to a Kit Kat green. I'm wondering if they were really able to do it. Oh, okay. This looks like an Andy's Mint, like a thicker Andy's Mint. Wow, this actually kind of looks like a picture. See? I would say that's pretty close to the picture. That's pretty impressive. Because it's green colored cream, I think you're getting less chocolate. Not that I ever taste that much chocolate in the Andy's. I just need the green part. I would just taste the peanut butter. I'm really not tasting the cream at all. I'm not tasting white chocolate and I'm not tasting chocolate. It's just like a nothingness coating. Speaking of not putting in much effort, Snickers. Snickers made low in the dark packs. So I think it's just the exact same thing, just glow in the dark. I used to have such a hard time making these actually glow in the dark, so we're gonna test it today and make sure if these really do what they're supposed to do. So I'm gonna put these all under some light and then we're gonna put them in the dark and see what happens. We're just gonna go to my bathroom. Are you gonna do this? Wait, can you see them? I don't see anything. Oh wait, oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, wait, you can see it. That's pretty cool. Call that a success. They're gonna taste the same. There's nothing about them that says that they're gonna be different, but I guess we'll try just to make sure. Snickers are better than Three Musketeers, that's for sure. They're not my favorite. I think if I had the dark chocolate Snickers, I would like that better. That side, Snickers are great. Snickers are lovely. They're like a six out of 10 for me. It's so much sugar, so much sugar. Okay guys, this last one for round two. Is not one that I want to do on camera because it comes with the flavor that's supposed to be like rotten zombie brains. Let's get a zombie flavor. I believe it was last year that they came out with this. The flavors are mummified melon, chili black cherry, boogeyman blackberry, petrifying citrus punch, blood red berry, and then a rotten zombie. Beware a rotten zombie taste can be hiding behind any of these colors. Basically, you have to try them, and you have to pray that you don't eat the rotten zombie flavor. I read online that the rotten zombie flavor is genuinely disgusting, and I don't want to try this on camera, because I don't know. <laughs> I can't smell them. Okay, this one's supposed to be melon. Melon. Uh-huh, okay. Melon is fine. Chili black cherry is up next. You guys don't understand that. If I get the zombie brain one, I, it's gonna ruin my entire day. Cherry. Can you see how long it's taking me to understand which one I'm eating? Mmm, I like black cherry. Blood red berry. Citrus punch. The punch. Okay. My hand is genuinely getting sweaty thinking about one of these being the zombie one. Citrus. Berry. Okay, three left. Purple, whatever that one is. Alright, two left. Sweaty and like there's actual colors on my hand from both of these. This has to be the zombie one. Is, is it not the. <laughs> it's like I ate a stink bug. I can't believe that was actually the last one. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was actually the last one in my hand. 
There was nothing fake about that. Oh my god. I have to smell it. Oh, that smells terrible. Oh, that smells terrible. It smells like stink bug vomit. I'm gonna say that the Skittle Zombie one is very fun because the entire time you are ridden with anxiety about if you're gonna get the zombie brain one. I think in the year 2020, I really don't need this as part of my lifestyle. It makes me really sad. I like that Skittles like really went there, you know? Like everyone else was like marshmallow flavored, like orange flavored, and they were like zombie brains, bitch. I like, I don't wanna give them a 10 out of 10 because the flavor is disgusting. But I want to give them a 10 out of 10 for really going there. Out of this round, I think I'm going to say the Kit Kat Witches Brew really, really made me excited. Okay, we need to go into round three. I need to do so much mouth wash. I'll see you guys there. What are you doing back here? Excuse me, sir. What? Come here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I was trying to dress up as Gus for Halloween, hence the ears. But his ears, I realized, are a little bit more like folded back than fluffy and like triangular. Working on it. I'll figure it out by Halloween. I guess we can just dress up as a raccoon and I can look like you. Yeah? Okay. <gasps> bye, bye Hello, we're back, round three. I think I finally got the zombie brain stink bug, whatever the hell that was, out of my mouth. Up next, we have all of the super chocolatey traditional Halloween candies. I'm very excited because there's one in here that I've never tried before. Where is the packaging for? We're doing the Oreo chocolate candy bar. I mainly like it because of the bats on it. They kind of remind me of Gus, my dog. I have to say, for a fun size, this is a pretty good size. Some of the other fun sizes do not look this one. These kind of look like buns. So these look like they're loaded with a bunch of little chocolate crisps, and then looks like it's probably that Oreo cream on the center, in the center. Ooh, wait. So there's actually like this little crevice in here of more chocolatiness. That's just straight up Oreo crumbs in there. Hello. This is great, it's crunchy. It's chocolatey, it's creamy. It just has like all those little flavors that you want in it. Fine. Next thing we're gonna try is the Reese's Peanut Butter Ghost Scary. I first read this as sorry. It's peanut butter enrobed in white cream. My question is, is white cream different than white chocolate or is this a way of selling white chocolate so that people like me who don't like it are going to think, oh, it's different. Oh, this is a cute little ghost. This is a really cute, thick little ghost. Um, I'm gonna eat his head. Ooh, very melty. It's almost like when you put coconut, too much coconut oil in your chocolate. It almost like feels like a lotion on your hands. Ooh. I'm not tasting too much of a white chocolate. I'm actually just tasting peanut butter. It's almost like this is the white cream. It's just the vehicle to keep the peanut butter together. I'm gonna try just eating the white part. It's, it's honestly not even there. It's not waxy though. Um, that's my one thing I hate about anything that's white chocolate, is that it just gets a super, super waxy, sad flavor. Um, this is so much more peanut butter than you get in a Reese's peanut butter cup. So, in my book, this is a winner. So now we're gonna do with the Reese's Pumpkins. We have one that is probably the one that you actually get in your, I, I almost was gonna say stocking. What season is it? This is what you should probably get in your treat bag. And then this is the big honker one that you can get like convenience stores. Um, these are gonna taste the exact same probably, but I'm gonna eat both because I'm committed. Satisfied. Happy. Let's do the other one. Mm. <laughs> oh, interesting. Some investigative journalism time. Are we ready for this? This is the smaller one in my right hand. Look, it has more peanut butter. Does it not? Can you make like a little ruler thing and measure this? Doesn't this one seem to have more peanut butter though? Hmm. Interesting. 
Heck yeah, 10 out of 10. Oh, hi guys. What's going on? You wanted to be on camera again? You wanted to say hi? Okay. What do you want to talk about? You don't know? You have to say something. Bye, bud. Yeah, I'm working. I know, it doesn't look like it, but... Someone's got to pay rent, right? Certainly not my dog. I'm going to do three missing tears next. I must say that the bag that I bought for these Halloween candies is the smallest candies I've ever seen. These are true minis. They're not even fun size. And they know they're not fun size because they're called minis. They're honestly the best when they're frozen because the center is just that marshmallow -y chocolate flavor. It's more of a texture thing for the Three Musketeers. They're super light, fluffy, chocolatey, milk chocolate. So it's much more sugar than that like rich chocolate flavor. Up next, Milky Way. And this is also so mini. It's basically the Three Musketeers with caramel in it. That's all I gotta say about it. Last but not least, we have a Twix. Twix is one of my favorites. To me, it's like a Kit Kat with the caramel in there, which I can honestly do without. I prefer just the Kit Kat because I like the crispness all together. Gosh! What'd you do? Sorry for that. My dog um, was trying to go into his toy bin and there were some picture frames and he sniffed them and they fell. Made a scary sound, which scared me, and he is now hiding. And he ran away. He's very scared. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. What was I talking about? Twix? So I would say about the Twix is that it's similar to a Kit Kat in the wafer crispness, except it's not much of a wafer, it's more of a biscuit. Um, so there's more of a chew to it. And then the caramel is just like this huge honker, thick caramel in there. From this round, I was really surprised by the Oreo chocolate candy bar. That was bomb. It's kind of like buns. <laughs> we are back. I want to start off with Sour Patch Kids because they are my favorites. I mean, I didn't say that this was going to be like an unbiased reading today. Oh, the flavors. The red and blue win my heart. I love the feeling of your taste buds being ripped apart. In our package, we also have these singular Sour Patch Kids that are very, very large. Holy crap, this thing is huge. Also, I'm really not sure what this shape is. You can see that this is relatively a kid, I guess. There's the hair and everything. This one, like, didn't even try. I'm really excited for this. It's so blue. Very chewy. Chewier than that one. You know what? I like the smaller version more. The smaller version is the right amount of gummy. The bigger version is just a little bit too chewy to where it's losing its losing its oomph to it. Up next we have Twizzlers. Tess told me that Twizzlers is also one of her favorite types of Halloween candy, which just makes me really concerned for her Halloween bag. I feel like ours do not mix, but technically that does make us complement each other because everything that I don't like, she would take, and everything she doesn't like, I would take. I'm chewing so much that's making my muscles up here push back the ears. This is weird, but it tastes a little bit peanut buttery or nutty. Huh? Mm -mm. Moving on to something that's actually, I think, in the same category as Twizzlers is Swedish Fish. These are adorable. I never knew how much I loved these until I tried them. And, ooh, I'm used to really stale Swedish Fish. Usually they're so chewy. They get stuck on your teeth and you're sitting there for a really long time chewing on them. These are actually fresh. Okay. And they're just like this little bit of cherry and strawberry mixed together almost. In that same category, we have a very large individual Swedish fish, just like we have the very large Sour Patch Kid. Again, the bigger ones are chewier. 
This is how I remember Swedish fish. Very difficult. If you're having to work for it. Mm -hmm. I would contend that Swedish fish and Twizzlers are in the same category and Swedish fish are far better. Up next we have the Lifesavers Big Ring Gummies. So we had Lifesavers earlier and I said that they were fine. You'd find them at the bottom of your purse. You'd offer to someone and they would say sure. The gummies though are amazing. You can stick them all on your fingers and eat them off. It's like an activity that comes with it. And the super sour gummy ones just seem even better. There we go. Okay, don't do that. Hmm. I thought these were gonna be sour because it had that crystal on there. They're not sour. I like the hard lifesavers better or the regular gummies. These ones look super fun and make you really excited to see the packaging. But then when you're actually eating them, you're like, eh, that was fine. I didn't need that in my life. I need a wine break. By the way, guys, this is my first video where I'm standing for the entire thing. I haven't stood in a video ever, I think, besides the time that Tess and I went to Universal Studios. And oh, it's happening? Day. It's happening. And I had to like stand all day in the heat, and I basically had a mental breakdown at one point. Um, I was just like crying. I'm so tired and so confused. Okay. Let's keep going. Up next, we have bottle caps. I love bottle caps. When I was a small child, a small girl, and I basically just didn't want to pay attention at church, my mom would bring candies. Um, and one of the candies that my mom used to bring to keep me entertained throughout the hour long service were bottle caps. I loved them growing up, they were great because they tasted like sodas. I'm gonna try the root beer one first. Mmm. It's so strange. You can almost taste a fizziness to it. It makes you want to have a root beer float. Dr. Pepper. Mmm, yeah. It's like refreshing, it's cooling. I'm happy. Regular Skittles and Wildberry Skittles. I'm just gonna eat these really quickly and get it over with. From Skittles, the red Skittle is the most important and the most delicious. And out of the package that I got, there were no red Skittles, literally none. I would like to call the Skittles president and have a conversation. I'll eat the purple one. I don't know. I like sour Skittles. Sour Skittles, I could rip a hole in my tongue and keep eating them. Amazing. Regular Skittles, whatever. Up next we have Wildberry Skittles. So you have the strawberry flavor in here still. We have melon berry, raspberry, wild cherry, and berry punch. I'm gonna eat my beautiful red one. Mm. This might be the only strawberry flavor thing I love. The melon berry one is a little off for me. I'm always confused by it. I think they did a great job making the flavor melon berry, but it's just like, it tastes like a lotion. The other one I really like is the berry punch. I can't remember which one that is, it's this one. Yeah, the order of Skittles I would say is sour Skittles, duh. Wild berry, original. What am I gonna do? The Trolley Sour Bites. Trolley Sour Bites, I believe, were first created around Easter time because they looked like Easter eggs. And I guess they repackaged them for the Halloween season. So Trolley Sour Bites are like your sour worms, your sour gummy worms growing up, but in just a little bit more of a compact size and not as sticky. So I'm assuming that the blue is usually the blue and pink. Oh, so funky. What? That tasted like, what's that shampoo? that had the little fish eye on it, the L'Oreal for kids. It tasted like one of the smells of the L'Oreal shampoo growing up. That was wild. Again, what is going on here? I'm addicted to the texture. 
It's like a, a crunchy gummy bear. Interesting. Chewy lemon heads. We have the flavors, apple, orange, lemon, cherry, and grape. I'm very intrigued. Oh, okay, they look like jelly beans almost. Kind of weird shaped jelly beans. Oh. 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 I took a shot of lemon cello. These are better than Skittles. I would contend that the chewy lemon heads are playing in the same world as Skittles. It has way more of that acidic punch to it. And I like the chew better. It's way more of like a softer, gummier chew. And the Skittles more of just like a, a chew that gets stuck in your teeth immediately. We're getting down to it, y'all. We only have a few left. We're gonna do both of the gums at the same time. Up first of the gums, we have the, what is this called? Super Bubble? This is always in those claws, those um candy claw machines, you know, at bowling alleys and stuff. I'm gonna judge this bubble gum, not off of the flavor, but of how good of a bubble I get out of it. Oh my god. It does not taste good. Let me get this part over with. We can just fast forward this. Oh, I eat this. I get a lot. Oh. Okay, I have to give up on this. My jaw's hurting. It tastes bad. On that note, we're gonna try the Bubblicious Sweet Strawberry Flavored Gum. I love the packaging of Bubblicious. I do not like the huge hard disc. This looks like a massive warhead. I would actually probably be happy if it was a massive warhead. Oh my God, I take back saying this one was chewy. For some reason, this is reminding me of the Skittles zombie flavor. I don't know why. I'm getting flashbacks. I can't do it. Oh. Hard pass. We're gonna move on to Sweet Tarts. Another great candy from my childhood that I used to eat in church. <laughs> church candies were my favorite candies. What I remember is that they all kind of tasted the same and I would just eat them so quickly that I would never be able to have like differentiate the flavors. I'm gonna do the blue and the red though first because those are usually my favorite colors or favorite flavors. I don't know. When you're describing candies, you usually just describe it as the color versus the actual flavor. Like if you're describing Gatorade, you're like, oh, I'll have the blue one. And same with candy, I'm like, oh, I love the blue one, but it's really blue raspberry, whatever. I love sweet tarts. Mm. I would say this is another underrated candy. Up next, we have the Now and Laters, and we have it in grape and strawberry. I'm gonna switch it up and try the grape instead of the strawberry. This is another candy that your orthodontist would freak out about when you were wearing braces. Not bad. Okay. Now and laters are winning the award of the drooliest candy. My mouth became an ocean. Not an attractive thing to say out loud, but that's really what happened there. Second to last one is Starburst. I can't believe we went this entire video without talking about Starburst. Almost a shame. I know that most people love the pink one and they're obsessed with it, but I'm a red fan. I'm a huge, huge cherry fan of this one. I think Starburst Cherry is phenomenal. It is fantastic and it rocks my damn socks. I hear people get in a huge fight about like what flavor is best. It's like, you know what? If someone doesn't love your flavor, Perfect. That means they're gonna give you that flavor. Guys, I can't wait to brush my teeth after this video. Okay, we have our last candy of this video. It's not actually a candy. I, when I was buying the rest of these, I saw it and I was like, it's orange. So it has to be um, for Halloween. So I got a Hostess Snowball. I've never eaten one before. And I saw that it was orange and I remember them always being pink. So I assumed it was for the Halloween season. So if you've never had one like I've never had one, it is a coconut and marshmallow covered chocolate cake with a creamy filling. So it's like a ho-ho on the inside. Oh my God, the texture of this is so fun. 
It's like a makeup sponge. I want to like. Ooh, it's okay. Oh, serious coconut. That is coconut to the face. It also kind of the texture makes me feel like I shouldn't be eating it. It doesn't feel edible. Register to vote if you're able to, and please vote, vote. It's so important. Uh, my grandpa always says that you're not allowed to complain if you don't vote. I love complaining, and I'm sure some of you guys love complaining as well. So if you want to complain for the next four years, you need to vote. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to comment, subscribe. Um, what are the other things you guys do? Share. <laughs> I have such a sugar high going on, my brain is like, what's happening?